Let's take a look at addition and subtraction. Now, all of the questions in this section are non-calculator. Question number one says, find the sum of three, two, three, and one. Find the sum of means add. Three plus two is five, plus another three is eight, plus one is nine. Find the sum of 14, 5, 39, and 25, add them together. I'm gonna to make life slightly easier for myself because I can do five and 25 very easily, so that is a 30. So I'm now adding 30, 39, and 14. You can use a column method if you want. 30 plus 39 is 69, and 69 and 14, I might use the column method for this bit. Nine plus four is three, carry the one. Six plus one is seven, plus one is eight. So the answer is 83. Alternatively, you could just do um, the 30, 39 and 14 and just use the column method with three digits, but you'd still get exactly the same answer. Subtract four from nine, well, nine minus four, use your fingers if you need to, is five. Find the difference between 22 and 48, well, that is subtraction. So I'm gonna subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So 48 take away 22, eight minus two is six, four minus two is two. So the answer is 26. Number five says the sum of, so we're adding, using the column method, I'm just gonna put one number on top of the other and make sure that the units tens and hundreds uh, are in line, which is quite easy because both numbers are three digit numbers. Nine plus nine is 18, eight carry the one. One plus nine is 10, 10 plus four is 14, so four carry the one. Seven plus two is nine, plus one is 10. So the answer is 1048. So question six, again, no calculator. We've been told to use the column method. So the difference means subtract. So I'm gonna take away the smaller number from the bigger number. So two from zero or zero minus two, well, that is impossible. Zero minus two is not two, by the way. So when the number on the bottom is bigger than the number on the top, we need to borrow from the column to the left. So here the four will become a three and the zero will have a one in front of it to make it a 10. 10 minus two, is eight, three minus three is zero, eight minus six is two, so the answer is 208. So in question number seven, we know that Anna spends 70 and 300, and most of her spending money, she spends 250, but has 40 left over. So what she has spent is 250 minus 40, which is 210 pounds. So her spending money that she's actually spent is 210 pounds. So. She spends 300 plus 70, so 370 for the hotel and train fare combined, plus 210 spending money, so let's add these together, zero. Seven plus one is eight, three plus two is five, so in total, she pays 580 pounds. With question eight, we can work out the concert tickets and the hotel combined, that is 33 plus 79. Three plus nine is 12, two carry the one. Seven plus three is 10 plus the one is 11. So that is for concert and hotel. Now, what about the train tickets? The train tickets are 198, but there was a 35 pound saving. So we're gonna subtract the 35 from the 198. Eight to take away five is three, nine minus three is six, one minus nothing is one. So in total, Cameron spends 112 pounds for concert tickets and hotels and 163 for the train. So the total he spends is therefore 163 plus 112, three plus two is five, six plus one is seven, one plus one is two. So the total is 275 pounds.